All right, today I'm gonna to make kosher dill pickles. I am preparing, currently preparing the water. I've put in the water, the distilled vinegar. I'm gonna put this mix in. I grabbed a few cucumbers out of the garden and then a Hungarian hot pepper. May even add some of these cherry tomatoes and cut up some onions. And then I'm going to can them. So let's get this process started. Again, water. I really don't know how to break down this. It says 9 to 11 pounds of cucumbers, which I don't even have that many. Three and a half cups of distilled water, seven and a half cups, I'm sorry, three and a half cups of the distilled vinegar, and then water, and then a pouch of this Mrs. Wages kosher dill pickle. So I'm not even going to put even very much in there. I want to taste it first just to see how it tastes. So let me grab some scissors. Cut the corner of this. Stick my finger down in there and just taste what this. Ooh, yeah. Mmm. Kind of salty, so I will not put that much in. Let me shake this pouch up first as well. Bacon, bacon, bacon. All right. And I'm just gonna put in. Oh, so it's green. like that That's not very much there because I don't want it too salty and then I'm going to add it doesn't tell you to but I like hot so I'm going to add some crushed red pepper a little bit more like it hot and then I'll also go over to the fridge and grab some garlic I think I got some garlic back here hold your horses hold your horses I like all the goodness in mine and then just put it over medium heat got some Costco garlic minced garlic and I'll put a tablespoon in there uh, maybe half a tablespoon so I'll put that in put it over medium heat let that I believe it says let it come to a boil let me see a medium boil boil over medium heat stirring occasionally until mixture dissolves okay then once that is finished let me put all this back away once that boils if I already rinsed my veggies let me go ahead and start cutting so what I'm going to do with these cucumbers so what I like to do is the tops I like to cut the tops into spears so I usually go about right here and then I'm going to cut this piece off as well and then I'll just cut this into a spear so it's kind of hard with this shape I actually might keep that whole we'll keep that one whole and then we'll come in here and then cut these in slices so this will be a combination of slices and spears so I like them pretty thick almost like the butter ones Ooh. and one thing this is my first time ever uh, growing cucumbers and the one thing that I found that I didn't know before is that cucumbers come with these little pricklies on the outside and these big companies like kosher they actually um, they actually have to smooth them out so you know all these years oh this looks so good I want to eat it all these years I've thought they were automatically smooth but they're not uh, I, want, I want to get right in the middle there okay so again, it's going to be slices and spears. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this part of the video and I'll be right back after I finish. All right, so I'm back. I cut everything up. I have spears. I have slices. Ran out of room. Um, so I'm eating the rest of these just with nothing on them. 
So I'm still waiting for this to start boiling. Let me stir it again. And then, let me taste it. Mm. <coughs> oh, that's hot. Whoa, that's hot. My goodness, that's hot. Let me come in the drawer. And we're going to get, I think I'll use this one here. Yeah, I'll use this size. Maybe I should use the big one so I don't make a mess. The funnel. Still waiting for that to boil. That's going to be delicious. Let me go ahead and eat the rest of these. And I'll be right back. When this boils. Alright. So, the brine. I finished the brine. I packed it in the jar. This is a 32 ounce jar. And then, I'll uh, boil this in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes and then it'll be done for storing and I can store it for up to a year because <laughs> I already have some pickles in the fridge already so there's no point in uh, putting these in the fridge I can't eat them after a day but my ones in the refrigerator are actually <laughs> awesome in fact let me go grab those real quick take this out while I'm in there so I made this batch of pickles about last, last month. Let's see, let's get in here. So anyway, and I put in just like the one I did today. Ooh, yum. I put in, ooh, look at those, beautiful. Mmm. I put in my Hungarian peppers. Mmm, oh my God. Oh my God. Awesome. So these have, these are refrigerated ones, so I, there's no point in putting these over here in the fridge. So, uh, uh, uh. Mmm, crispy as ever. So, and this was my own brine that I made. And then I decided to try to try to package, but you can do this on your own. Just water, vinegar, and the seasonings of your choice. Mm, mm, mm. I made another one. This one. This has okra, a little bit of everything. Okra, cucumbers, Hungarian peppers. I also made this a few weeks back. I don't think this one tastes as good. I didn't add sugar to this one. A little sugar gives it an extra look. Mm. So anyway, we're boiling it. And until the next time, guys. Peace.